It's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max Reno Borderlands 3 video and today we are talking about the new class mods in DLC 4. That is right, we are getting four new class mods in DLC 4 and I am so freaking excited to share them with you guys. Uh, they are really, really awesome. Before we get into that, we are just a few days away from my one year anniversary of making content for Borderlands 3, which is absolutely crazy. This has been such an awesome journey and I want to celebrate it with you guys. We are going to be giving away codes for the DLC. We're giving away codes for Borderlands 3. We're giving away merch. We're giving away so many things. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, everything you need to know will be in the pinned comment and in the description. And with that, guys, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So we're going to be talking about the class mods, where to get them, how they work, and what you should be looking for for a god roll on your class mod. Now, one thing to note is... I am recording this video prior to the actual launch of the DLC. Uh, 2K gave me early access, so if there's any changes to any of these class mods on launch, I'll be sure to note them in the actual description of the video. Now, first off, we're talking about Moses Flare class mod. Now, Moses Flare class mod is an Iron Bear focus class mod and reads, gain up to 100% damage while Iron Bear is active, decreasing as Iron Bear spends fuel. Now, this is a really, really cool class mod because it kind of hits that note of a in-between Iron Bear build and Moe's build. The way that I've liked using this is when you first jump into Iron Bear, you're going to get 100% increased damage, which is crazy. As you guys know, Iron Bear hits really, really hard. And when you're using this thing, uh, your first few shots out of Iron Bear deal absolutely crazy damage. Now, this class mod also rolls with points into stainless steel bear which is going to give you a ton of iron bear damage maximum fuel and iron bear armor which will allow you to be in iron bear for longer drain less fuel or uh, use up less fuel and you're gonna have that damage bonus last a little longer the way that i like playing this class mod on mo's is i will use iron bear till it's about at 50 percent damage then i will hop out of iron bear so about halfway through its duration, I'll hop out, I'll kill a few things, I'll get Iron Bear back, and then I'll destroy things with Iron Bear's 100% increased damage. This works really, really well as a hybrid playstyle between using Iron Bear and using Moe's. Now for the God Roll, you're going to be looking for action skill damage, splash damage, as many points into Stainless Steel Bear uh, as you can get is going to be really, really good because fire in the Skag Den is actually boosted by Stainless Steel Bear. I would go uh, as many points into Stainless Steel Bear and as many points into Cloud of Lead as you can get. Uh, I think those would be really, really nice. Next up, we're going to be talking about Amara. Now, Amara's new class mod is called the Muse. Now, the Muse is a melee class mod and this thing is incredible. Whenever Amara damages an enemy with a melee attack, she projects melee damage outwards of her attuned element towards another nearby enemy. This skill has a short cooldown. Now, the cooldown, I believe, is three seconds on this thing. And when you punch an enemy with the Muse, it'll spawn an orb that'll fly out and hit other enemies. Now, the damage of this Muse comm is insane. Uh, it is absolutely crazy the amount of damage that can come out of this thing. Easily over damage cap. The orb that spawns, that flies out, um, is counted as action skill damage and scales with your action skill. The same way that remnant orb scale, uh, your melee muse orb will scale as well, which is freaking crazy. Uh, I easily, easily, without much of a build, you can hit for over damage cap with this thing, and it leads to a really, really cool melee playstyle. I use this thing with remnant so that my melee orbs trigger remnant orbs, and you can hit for billions and billions of damage with this thing. Now, in terms of the actual skill tree and the things that you want to look for on this thing, melee damage is great. Action skill damage is really, really good, and the comm itself as you can see, this is a little weird, 
but it actually specs two points, uh, or you can get more than two points into Illuminated Fist. Now, this is prior to launch. At launch, this should be fixed with a hot fix, but if you play offline, you will be possibly able to get an Illuminated Fist with more than one point into Illuminated Fist, which is one out of one skill uh, with two out of, uh, or three out of one with something like this. You're gonna get like 225% increased melee damage. You also get laid bare with this thing and you also get jab cross. These are amazing skills and I recommend looking out for one in Illuminated Fist because that's pretty much all you should be able to get three into laid bare and the rest into jab cross for this thing. Now, this orb does spawn with the face puncher. You can use the face puncher to spawn an orb with the muse. So face puncher and true melee builds work really well. I will have a melee muse build that is already done. Uh, it should be out probably tomorrow when you're watching this. That is just absolutely crazy with this class mod. Next up, we're talking about Zane. Now Zane's new comm is called the Hustler comm and is basically giving Zane Megavore. It's crazy. So Zane, Hustler, damaging an enemy with a non-critical hit, grants Zane a stacking plus 25% increased critical hit damage and a 5% chance for non-critical hits to score a critical hit, which consumes all stacks. This skill stacks five times. So basically stacks five times, damaging an enemy with non-critical hit gains 25% uh, increased critical hit damage and a 5% chance. So at max stacks, you're gonna have 25% chance to score a critical. Now, um, when you do score a critical, critical hit, you're gonna consume all stacks, but basically what happens is you're going to be using rapid fire weapons to shoot at enemies, and you're gonna be hitting crits on them, even though you're hitting their body, which is pretty crazy. Um, these crits are quote-unquote fake crits they're the same thing that like fade away crits are so you're still going to want to be aiming for the head of enemies for the most damage but the really cool interaction that's going on here with this class mod is it specs into brain freeze now brain freeze is a skill that whenever zane scores a critical hit on an enemy there's a chance they'll be slowed having points into brain freeze and being able to score hits score critical hits like crazy with this thing leads to making pretty much any weapon into an insane cryo weapon because you're going to be freezing enemies like crazy with this thing. You're going to be looking for as many points into brain freeze as you can, which is really cool. This also specs into like a ghost, which is going to give you a chance to ignore bullets. And it also specs into adrenaline for action skill cooldown. That's pretty nice because your action skills will be going down because you are not using a seeing dead. Now, this class mod is really cool and can make some really cool use out of weapons that don't normally crit very much. Um, definitely give it a recommend. I will have a build out with that as well. And lastly, we have our flak class mod, the per Peregrine class mod. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, Peregrine, Peregrine. Um, whenever flak's rack hit an enemy, they drop a grenade. This effect has a short cooldown. Now I believe this cooldown is also three seconds. But how this class mod works is whenever Flex Rax hits an enemy, they drop a grenade. This is your grenade. Whatever grenade you have equipped, this class mod will drop on the enemy when the rack hits. Now, the best thing that I have found with this comm is using it with the fish slap grenade. Now, the fish slap grenade procs groundbreaker on enemies, and you can use... Um, your rack attacks has an easy way to apply groundbreaker and work in that melee groundbreaker proc for doing so much base damage with your weapons which is really really cool uh this skill or class mod specs into eager and eager to impress interplanetary stalker and ambush predator for your skills that you're going to be looking for this i recommend as many points into interplanetary stalker as you can it's just going to give you the most damage and Looking for things like action skill damage, splash damage, uh, splash damage radius will all be really nice things. Uh, you can use singularity grenades with this. You can use the it's piss with this and pull off some pretty cool things. Uh, your racks will be doing technically a lot more damage because you can one shot things with racks because they'll be dropping uh, groundbreaker, proccing, fish slap. So overall, pretty cool. 
If you guys want me to go more in depth with some of these comms, I will be doing that in the specific build videos where we fully, fully utilize and maximize these class mods. But that is going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you guys did, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And remember that we are doing giveaways. Follow the link in the description and in the pinned comment to enter the giveaway for a ton of crazy things, guys. Thank you so much for one year of content creation. Uh, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.